Welcome to the Ingisun Piano Center and its inaugural gala event. Three live streamed concerts recorded in Arvika, Sweden, in the Great Hall of Karlstad University at the Ingisun School of Music. The gala event will consist of three live stream concerts entitled Within, Around and Beyond. This three-part series offers a journey through which we can explore the evolution of man in his individuality, his relation to the world, and his wonder for what might lie beyond. Around depicts an epic tale, beginning with Liszt's second ballad. The elements have power over all things, and humanity seems derisory in the face of the world. Men are at the mercy of the oceans, storms, and the universe's caprices. Janacek's In the Mists leads us through the colorful and tenebrous atmosphere of gloom. Within this fog, popular dances and traditional airs seem to resonate all around. Is nature haunting man, or is man haunting nature? In La Vals, Ravel depicts the mad ballet of a civilization in decadence. All this profusion of melodies seem to be dancers, slowly losing control over the structured and well-mannered society which they fought so hard to maintain.
I like to be positive. I like to be happy all the time, you know. I like to I like when people feel happy, you know. I like when I like to cheer up people. Like I don't like when people are too like negative or like too low in energy. I mean, of course, people can be low in energy, but like don't be sad or depressed. I don't know. I mean, I like to cheer up people, you know, like I don't know. I like a good vibe, you know. I think like if I feel bad or something, I do it with myself. Kind of when I'm alone, I, I if I have something I feel bad or sad or depressed about, I be, then I do it with myself. When I'm with others, I I feel good, you know, because then I'm with others. I don't need to be sad or anything. I'm one, like that, everyone thinks that I'm happy all the time. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess I don't know. I just want people to think like that. I'm I'm real and honest, real and honest. Yeah, and then of course, like if you. If you're tired or sad or whatever, someday you're going to be honest with your feelings. Honesty is just good. When people are honest, you get to know them much quicker, kind of. And when you're honest to everyone, you get to know yourself very well as well. If you're not honest all the time, then you kind of, at the end of the day, you don't know who you are yourself. Honesty in the way of um, putting emotions to music is quite important, honestly. That's why I also think that in order to be able to express yourself truly in music, you have to experience a lot. You have to experience all kinds of emotions, right? And that's why I think it's very difficult to fake some kind of feeling you didn't experience or some emotion you didn't experience, like love or, I don't know, sad, some sad, you know, some death or I don't know, like, you know, horrible feelings. Because those are kind of emotions or things we are expressing in the music all the time. It's always something, some kind of, you know, emotion that we want to express. And it's so difficult to fake it because you can make it very look like, like you can make it look like very honest, very true or like kind of, but it's still not. I think you can still see if it's real or not somehow. Yeah, truthful, yeah. Doing music is what I, it's very, it's very important for me because, I mean, I have difficult to express myself and explain myself all the time in words and stuff like that. So, and I feel like I can do that with music easily. And, um, yeah, sometimes I just too much emotions, of course, in the playing as well, but I feel like that's like kind of a, as a, a zone, a f like a, a zone where I can actually express myself and make people understand maybe what I feel or stuff like that, you know. I mean, I can answer for sure. I can, I can tell you my favorite piece of music, uh, piano repertoire. Um, it's the Rachmaninoff second piano concerto, right? And I think, I mean, that one for sure, I think that that describes my my emotions, right? Like I have a lot of, like a passion as well. Like I have a lot of passion and like emotions, right? And then I would also say like, um, I don't know, like I, there's like one piece that I, that made me kind of play the piano. Hungarian Rhapsody number two ballets, right? So, I mean, that piece is for me very playful and very silly and very goofy, you know? And it's, there's still some kind of seriousness in there, right? There's like a shell of seriousness, but when you break the shell, there's just a lot of goofiness happening. That's me, you know? I'm, I might have, uh, like, there's a lot of goofiness in me.
In general, I try to, to get the inspiration directly from the music. But of course, it's not the whole story. You also have life experience that in some, maybe not so concrete way, but in, in a more subconscious way affects the way that, you, that you're playing. In general, I get pretty nervous actually when I have to play. Um, and the big job is to not show that to the audience. And in order to avoid it yourself, it's very good to try and not think so much about your playing, but more about the music that you're playing. And in those few concerts where it really works out, it's like one out of 20 concerts, I get this feeling that I'm not really playing anymore, I'm just listening to myself. And it's like, um, you know what, what you're doing in every moment, but you don't know what you're going to do in the next moment, it just sort of happens. I think just if you manage to create that moment where it's really only music and there's this very strong connection, you can really feel it in the air in, in a good concert, that it's not just quiet, it's sort of this electric tension. Um, that kind of mood is essentially all I, I want to convey and that can be done through various emotions and every piece is different so it's not possible to generalize if you want to convey sadness or happiness or whatever but that feeling is always something you want to strive for. If you ask me what my favorite composer is it will almost always be the piece that I'm working on. So if I play Janacek, I feel very connected to Janacek. Um, recently I played a lot of Schubert and Debussy. Feel very connected to that. If I play Rachmaninoff, I feel very connected to him. And I try to avoid playing things I don't feel connected to. That becomes very hard if you have a lot of uh, concerts coming up and sometimes they, they want your program like one or two years before. Mm, and I always struggle a lot with this and sometimes I end up changing things as well because I have no idea. There's no way to know what I connect to in one year. So much can happen in, in your musical development and in your life that it's just not possible to know. So this is one of the big, the big challenges. Um, I think it's extremely important to play a lot of chamber music and it's something that many pianists sort of end up neglecting because we have by far the most repertoire for any solo instrument. That's just everything you can play. So you can spend your whole life just sitting alone and, and playing the piano. But chamber music is important for several reasons. The social element of it, you get to know other musicians, but also you get to verbalize things that you normally just sort of intuitively work with. You know, if you're working with yourself and you want to change something in your playing, you don't need to verbalize it. You sort of do it uh, more or less unconsciously. Or even if consciously, you don't maybe know exactly what you're doing. Once you play chamber music, you're forced to communicate your thoughts in a very uh, concrete way.
Well, actually, it feels like I have two different person. One person who loves the countryside and being in <laughs> the woods or in the fields with like whatever clothes and dirty boots and a lot of animals all around and being quite alone in the peaceful atmosphere of the nature. And on the other side, I love going to restaurant, going to theater, going to concert. And I have not only two, but several personalities, I think, as most of artists, and all of them express at some different moments in the music making. Yeah, I think music allows me to wear whatever mask I want to wear and whatever personality I, I feel at the moment while I'm playing. I don't know if I have a special connection with the animals, but for sure I feel safe with them, safer than with people generally, <laughs> because I know they won't judge. I know they are faithful, they are full of love, and somehow they always give without expecting anything back. I think this is the only moment where I allow myself to be vulnerable actually, why I'm playing. In my practicing, I don't think about the goal, actually. I think a lot of people are thinking about, like, the, the ultimate goal, which is performing while they are practicing, which can be actually a bit scary. But when I'm practicing, I'm only trying to be the best musician I can at the moment. Yeah, I guess I am. I like to just... I used to do that before the pandemic, but just travel around and alone with my backpack, with no phone, nothing, and just walking around. Being a, the best version of myself as a human being and as a musician. I love being a musician. Love being a musician. But it's not even being a musician, like, it's who we are. We cannot even think about being a musician. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a complicated relationship, as always, with yourself, you know? Sometimes you hate it, some, sometimes you love it, but you always go back to it. I mean, it's who you are. You, sometimes you're tired of your own thoughts, of your own... I don't know, it's the way you live, the way you think. Sometimes you would like to be someone else. But truly, deeply, I'm just a musician. We would like to especially thank the chairman of our advisory board, Alf Bjornset. Without his generous support, along with our main sponsors, the Vestre Vermland Sparbank and Andersvall Beer Foundation, none of this would be possible. Thank you for making our dream a reality. We invite you to visit our website to read the impressive biographies of all our pianists and to learn more about the Ingesun Piano Center and its activities. Thank you for being here, and we hope you enjoy the concerts.